Hey guys, Massive Dynamic here with another tutorial. This time we're going to do uh, an SR latch. This is uh, something that can be a little bit confusing, uh, but it's really quite a handy thing to know how to make. Um, it's called an SR latch because it, you can set it and then reset it with a, an input. And this is how it works. I've done it here with three decider combinators. Uh, and all red wires, no green wires on this one. Um, it's possible to do it with uh, with a combination of red and green wires. Now the color of the wires don't matter. Hopefully you know that by now. Uh, but uh, if you go all red or all green, this will work just exactly the same. Um, and you can also do it with a combination of red and green wires. But this one's uh, done with all red wires. This arithmetic combinator is here just so that we can watch what is getting uh, input to this uh, fast inserter here. So I've got this set on the set side for uranium-235 greater than 40. It'll send an S or a set. Okay, so what I want this to do is I want to hold no more than basically 39 U-235 in this chest. It resets when it drops below 20. So I want to hold between 20 and 39 in this chest. Uh, actually, with this inserter speed, it'll probably be about 19. It'll stop at 19, but um, that, that'll be my lower limit. So from 19 to 39, this will run. Uh, and once, once it surpasses the uh, 40, this inserter will unload and then it'll stop when it gets to 19. So here's this uh, reset latch right here. This says that if S is greater than R, then it'll output everything on a signal of one. So right now we're getting an R signal of one because we have less than 20 in the box. Now if I take that out, we still get an R signal of one. If I put Let's put, uh, say, 21 in the box. 20 and 21. Now, there's no signal here because this... Let's look at that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Because uh, S is not greater than R. There is no S. There is no R. So they're equal. So there's no signal there. So let's go ahead and load this box. 20. Uh, we'll put... Uh, Load this up to 39. You'll see that it doesn't run. Oops, I went past it. So it'll unload. Sorry about that. I went past 39 there. A little trigger happy. So we'll watch this unload down to 19, like I said, because of the speed of the inserter. So there's the 24 there. So it runs. It starts running as soon as it hits 40. There's 20. 21, 22, 23, let's see if I can count this time. 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 39, it won't run at 39, but as soon as I go to 40, I'll go ahead and put a couple more in here real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you'll see it starts running, and it'll run that right down to 19 again. We can watch our input here. It's input. Oh, see the, the. Did you see it? When it switched to the R, once uh, the uh, R signal hits, then the S equals the R, and then this uh, latch no longer holds, and it stops running the inserter. So the inserter is set for S is greater than R. It's enable disable, and I have it override the stack size to one. That way, it'll it'll count uh, more accurately. You don't have to do that. If I don't override the hand size. We'll just plop these back in there, and then that will set, that'll see how far that runs down. Uh, it runs down to 18 then, because it's taken out uh, three at a time instead of two at a time. So there you have it. So here's the set on the S again. Uranium-235 greater than 40 sends an S signal. All right, so this is wired with a red wire from the box to the input on the S the set combinator also a red wire from the box to the input on the reset combinator because we're checking the the content of this box we want to know if it's 
less than 20 or greater than 40 because we're going to take action on both of those. Uh, then a red wire comes out of the set combinator and runs to the fast inserter because we want it to know when there's an S signal of 1. That's when we want our inserter to run because S is greater than R. So we also are sending an S signal from this decider combinator where S is greater than R output everything. So we'll send that signal also to the inserter. That way it knows that the S is still 1. And then this resets because both of these, the S, you can see the wire there, the red wire comes out of the S combinator and into the SR combinator on the input side, and then out of the R combinator and into the SR on the input side. So it's checking S versus R all the time. And then the, uh, like I said, the output on that one comes back to the inserter. And there you have it. So you can use this to regulate your power or your production of U-235 or blue circuits or whatever it is you want to produce in a certain volume. You can do it like this. And like I said, this, this arithmetic combinator is completely unnecessary. That was just to help us to see what was going on on the input side of the inserter. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching.